today's topic we doing a topic on mulberry trees and stay tuned for the video watch the whole video i think these are moths though they could be silkworm silkworm caterpillars some type of uh, moth caterpillar This particular tree is called Murris rubra. It has fingers on it. Like the rest of the, uh, cause there's over like, there's a few dozen species of mulberry trees all around the United States. This tree is native to North America. So all in America, we have this tree, mulberry tree, you know what I'm saying? Just like any berries, you know what I'm saying? You you can eat these berries. Don't eat them when they're green though. Because I heard, I was reading something about if you eat too much of the green ones, it could be poisonous to your body. These trees bloom around May and June. This is when you're gonna get beautiful results. Um, only eat the berries when they're black. When they're already black, falling off the tree, that is the perfect time to eat them. Also, the Native Americans use this tree for bows and arrows, for the bows, you know what I'm saying, to hunt, you know, to protect the land, you know, protect the land from predators or to get the food, you know. Uh, there's a lot of benefits of the mulberry tree. Uh, this particular tree, these, all these trees are high in iron, vitamin C, vitamin K, uh, this tree has protein in it uh, mulberry helps with your eyes digestion moves and cleanses the lymphatic system this is a good lymphatic system builder also the mulberry tree has uh, abundant of melanin when it's in the, when they're black um, eat them straight off the tree you know you you know, even with the bugs on there, there might be bugs crawling on there. You know, eat those bugs too, you know what I'm saying? Mulberry also protects the teeth and the nervous system, and they protect you from diseases. Mulberries are native to North America. More than 100 species of moors exist. These species generally identified by the color of flower, buds, and leaves, but not by the color of the berries. So I always look at the leaves because the leaves, there is a variety of species and they have different shapes of leaves. This one stands out and is unique from all the other ones. So uh, always look at the leaves so you can tell what species it is. Uh, mulberries take two to three years to produce fruit from seed. And they're very high in antioxidants. So the mulberry tree, I hope uh, you can see them all around the neighborhood too. If you pay attention closely, you'll see them growing abundantly all around the neighborhoods in Texas. Currently we're in Waco, Texas, and I've seen plenty of mulberry trees here and there uh, in people's yards, uh, at the parks. Uh, just walking down the street, they'll be on the side somewhere. The birds love to eat them. They're good for attracting birds, uh, beautiful different species of birds. Also, mulberry trees are really good during the winter time. They're like one of the only trees that don't uh, die. I think that's cool because most trees, they usually don't survive during the winter time. You gotta keep up with them, especially a fruit tree or any type of vegetable or fruit tree. You got to keep up with them or maintenance them or grow them at a specific area or state where it's warmer, where there's not too much winter seasons. A mulberry tree definitely survives during the winter. Comment below if you have this tree and would like to give us some information about this tree. I've always just thought this was a berry tree I didn't know the difference <laughs> but you know now that I'm able to identify the trees and, and study nature uh, I identify this as the mulberry tree 
So I hope you enjoyed this video and hopefully you gain some information out of this. Um, protect the trees. Grow these trees abundantly everywhere and stay connected to nature. You know what I'm saying? Uh, comment below, subscribe, like, comment, share, all that, you know. And I hope you like this video. I love myself. Stay tuned.